Well, aloha. Good morning, afternoon, and evening. Welcome to 2019. My name is Master Paul, and I'm very grateful, honored to be connecting with you today, the first day of this new year of 2019. It is a Tuesday where I am at. For some of you, it might already be Wednesday, and it's about noontime here. <clears throat> I just got another year older last year. I'm not going to tell you my birthday, but it wasn't too long ago. And uh, it seems that I'm not any wiser. I don't know what it is. But we keep going. Maybe someday that'll happen. Anyway, thank you all for joining. Today is going to be uh, filled with some wonderful soul secrets. If I spelled that right, yeah, soul secrets for success in 2019. And uh, prior to this live stream, I wrote down some notes. I checked guidance. I said, okay, heaven, uh, give me the... Nuggets of wisdom that people can apply to assist them moving forward uh, in this year of 2019 to have success. What are some of the soul secrets that can assist uh, these beautiful souls that come to watch these live streams? And for those that are new that have not attended uh, my live streams before, I have offered these for two years. Um, you can, of course, go back to my timeline and watch them. Uh, you have to be a friend and subscribe first but also uh, I do have a YouTube channel it's called a soul healer uh, which is also the name of my Facebook channel a s o u l h e a l e r and so if you go to Google and you YouTube just type out YouTube a soul healer you'll see my videos and from there you can see the hundreds of them that are posted and they range in topics but the core of the topics is soul all things soul uh, my spiritual teacher, spiritual father, is Dr. and Master Zhigong Sha, who is a world-renowned healer, uh, has written well over 20 books, 11 New York Times bestsellers, 11 New York Times bestsellers. That's kind of on the rare side. And all his books have a, the same theme, soul. Uh, more recently, he's brought in the word Tao, T-A-O, which represents um, the source of all uh, things, like the, the spring from which all things flow, Tao. And Tao is the source, the beginning and the end, the beginning from everything. It's just another word that represents source creator. Anyway, uh, in the wisdom of soul, he has brought to us a deeper understanding of the soul secrets, how we can apply the soul secrets to clear blockages in our life. We have so many uh, negativities in our life that tend to inhibit us from moving forward on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, an hour-to-hour, -hour, or day-to-day, week-to-week, month-to-month basis. I was communicating with a student uh, just last night. It was her new year. I hadn't turned new year here where I'm at. And this particular student um, was in overwhelm. And that happens when we are not empowered with the necessary wisdoms to uh, move through and past the, the negative energies that can come up around us. And we need to replace them with, of course, positive energies, but how do we do that? We do that with soul secrets. So I'll be sharing some of those with you today. Uh, welcome, NNC. Aloha, George Silva. Aloha, Vicky Vivek. Welcome, Kristen. Aloha, Joy. Welcome also to Linda Martinez. Uh, welcome, Karina. Aloha, Carl Strainer. Welcome, Dan Atkinson. Aloha, Diana Vittoria and Regina Volt. Welcome, uh, Mirosha. Aloha also to uh, Jenny Daniel. Hello, Phyllis. Welcome, Judy Parker. Welcome also to Catherine. Uh, aloha and welcome, Susan Birchmore, Dan Bustamante. Welcome, Peggy Blake. Welcome, Dimple. Great to have you all join this live stream today. I hope to serve you well with this wisdom. Uh, let's see. Did I miss anybody? I think I've captured everybody's name. Um, there's a person in the beginning whose name I can't quite read because Facebook mutes it out. But welcome to everybody. If I missed your name, forgive me. And please click the share button. Let other people know about today's live stream. I'm sure there will be a few that will be grateful to receive this wisdom today. First soul secret, drink water. We are made up of 80 to 90% water. We don't have enough of it. Well, the brain can't function. Did you know that when they uh, do autopsies on Alzheimer's patients that their brains have lost about 70% of their faculty 
and their water is reduced substantially. Their brain has shrunk to about 70% of its original mass because there's not enough water. <clears throat> Just a little side note for you. <laughs> I don't know if I'd call that a soul secret, but good to know, right? Okay. So thank you all for joining. So also today, uh, I will be offering to one lucky soul um, a special, uh, actually two special crown chakra blessings. Um, these crown chakra blessings are something that will be available for everybody that watches this video. Uh, there will be a small honor fee, but I'll, I will choose one demonstration person today. And I will ask Joy if she can stick around and uh, Catherine O'Shea if, if she can stick around. They both have um, powerful third eyes. I will ask them when I offer this, uh, these crown chakra blessings to offer third eye images as to uh, what they see when these blessings are offered. But we're going to take a little bit of time and call forth the beings of light first. We're going to set the stage and then I'll go into the soul secrets for success. And then I will offer towards the latter half of this live stream, I will offer um, the special crown chakra blessings for the new year. All right, so <clears throat> let us connect first. We can place our hands in a special hand mudra position, which is just like the prayer position. And certainly you can keep your hands in that position if that's what's comfortable for you. There's a different hand mudra position, which is dropping the left hand in front of the heart center. The right hand still remains in prayer position, connecting heaven into our heart center. Close your eyes, and I will call forth the beings of light. They're all layers of the divine, the Tao, and the source. Our mother and father, Sherfus, heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. Dear the soul of all the beings of light, including the angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascended masters, all the gurus, the lamas, sifus, saints, buddhas, and bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus and mother Mary, beloved Amitofu, Kuan Yin, Da, Shajur, Pusa, the soul of beloved Muhammad, uh, Krish, Krishna, Vishnu, uh, Ganesha, and more beings of light serving the planet of the light side. We love you all, honor you, respect you, and I bow my head to all of you. I ask most humbly for your presence today to serve in whatever way is most appropriate. We thank you, our beloved divine creator, for your love and your light, your forgiveness, your compassion, all that you do for us each and every day, most of the times with our lack of awareness and our lack of gratitude. We apologize for our lack of awareness and our lack of gratitude. We ask for your blessings for this new year, our beloved divine creator and all of the beings of light. We ask for you to connect, open our hearts, not only to ourselves for self-love, but to each other so that we can be more aligned to our soul and more aligned to our plan during this life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let us chant one round of love, peace and harmony uh, to connect heart to heart, soul to soul. Lu la lu la li Lu la lu la la li Lu la lu la li lu la Lu la li lu la Lu la li lu la Wo ai wo xian er ling Wo ai zan an lei Ang ling rong er mu she shong Xiong ai ping an a xie Xiong ai ping an a xie I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> okay, so thank you all for joining today. Very grateful for your presence. Thank you for clicking the share button. Welcome, Paula. Welcome, Lisa. Welcome, Ilona. Welcome, Tawana. Uh, Aloha, Steffi. Uh, welcome also to uh, everyone else whose name I may have missed. I'm very grateful for your presence. <clears throat> Give me a moment. 
Soul Secrets for the new year. We are in 2019, 2019. It has been said by many great seers, many great masters, and many with <clears throat> um, awareness of the potentiality of a future, that the future beholds a movement into the light age, a movement into um, greater light. What happens when more light shines on us? It exposes those things that can be quite painful. And so if we look at that piece of information, backwards light has been shining on humanity for the last hundred or so years waking them up bringing more and more and more light so that we can enter a higher frequency what some call dimensions what's the purpose of that well whenever we move up in our frequency move up in quote a dimension we are literally becoming more enlightened we are becoming light and so in the enlightenment process we are obligated, forced in many uh, ways, to release old patterns, release old um, negativities and the ways of approaching life. If you continue to do this, the same things you've always done, you will continue to get the same results. How many of you have had, in this last year, 2018, amazing financial blessings, amazing perfect relationships, amazing perfect health amazing perfect workplace environment probably one out of 20 of you can say yes to that most of us would be like ah uh, no it's been kind of sucky and so the question becomes why well there's multiple answers to it and this is where we apply the soul secrets the answers are multifold one is our uh, our negative energies that stay with us the negative messages that stay with us because we are a soul first you are not Paul Fletcher you are not Becky you are not Paula you are not Dimple you are not Catherine you are not joy you are not uh, your name you are a soul that lives forever that is come into this life experience and has been given a name and has so far gotten to the age you're at with your collective life experience up to this moment but you are not your name and you are not your experience you are a soul that is having an experience this is the first soul secret because you cannot change your future until you recognize a simple and solid truth an immutable truth there are certain things that's just not changeable you cannot ignore it you cannot deny it and if you try it could be even more painful with time because of the ignorance of this truth you must 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 start out with a recognition you are a soul first having an experience in your current life under your current name why is that so important to acknowledge first because from this keystone from this key point you can alter every single aspect of your life you can literally reverse negativity you can literally bring positivity into your life you can change your finances your relationship and your health all from this center keystone focus this is why it's the number one soul secret is to recognize in an exceedingly deep clear unequivocal no questions asked level that I am a soul having a physical experience now when you truly grasp this it looks like you standing above yourself take for a moment just stop for a moment and visualize your soul above you looking down on you the personality your soul sees like an umbrella everything it can see out past your workplace past your city it can see the whole of mother earth it can see what you're gonna to do today your soul can see what you're gonna to do tomorrow your soul can see the potential of a healthy relationship or the potential of a failed relationship your soul can see everything it is above you watching you play this role that you're playing here on earth you are a soul first the secret is to align your present your presence your consciousness here on earth to your soul because if your soul can see everything which it can 
then do you think it wants you to screw up? Do you think it wants you to have failed finances? Do you think your soul wants you to have unpleasant health issues? It's highly unlikely your soul wants you to suffer. It's almost impossible that your soul wants you to suffer. Your soul, however, cannot control your, uh, your ego. Your ego is your mind. Your soul can steer you by pushing you energetically in certain directions, but your mind, what we refer to as the monkey mind, could be uh, working against your soul. So the first soul secret is to literally, consciously place yourself at the level of your soul and start looking down at your personality. Look down at the various troubles of your life in this last you know, 20, 30, 40, 70 years, however long you've been on this earth, and start looking at it from the higher perspective of your soul. Very, very important. Welcome, Monica Spiegel. Aloha and welcome, Gina. Aloha and welcome uh, Emmerich, welcome Rosetta, welcome Susan, welcome Nikki, welcome Zach Perry, uh, and aloha to everyone else, Ilona, Lisa Prado, everyone whose name I may have missed, thank you for coming. Okay, now you have a soul, I think everyone agrees with that, and now you may have a much higher comprehension that your soul is above your heart, and it's above your monkey mind. But if you have been living without the consciousness of your soul, your monkey mind is steering you and it's creating a lot of problems. The monkey mind is one aspect. The other aspect, which is paired over here, it's right next to it, is called your uh, record of your services. The record of your services is all of your positive and negative experiences that your soul up above has been carrying for all the lifetimes. Your soul is, is a, literally a vessel of information. It is the memory bank of all of the experiences. Right now, you're Bob, you're Mary, you're Jorge, you're Carrie, you're Sandra. Right now, you're this personality. You may have been a different personality before. And your name might have been Jim or Joe or it could have been Wendy or it could have been something else. Um, each one of those different ego personalities had experiences, positive and negative experiences. Your soul is the repository of all life experiences. When you have done good things to others, your life is filled with joyous and good things. Now, I'm not talking about you, the you now, because that brings you down to this place where we suffer. In order to have a positive, successful 2019, we must awaken to the concept, the understanding with great depth of clarity, we are a soul. Move above, look down on your ego life. At the soul level, there have been many, 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 many life experiences. You may have been Bob, Joe, Mary, Jim, John, uh, 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 Vanessa, Lisa, and, and all these other names in previous lives. That's not who you are now, is it? You're a good soul now. You don't make mistakes now. But these other lives you may have. And so this is why you must rise above your current ego now. Soul secrets is exactly that. You cannot move to the highest levels possible in this life until you recognize this first. So now I believe you, you believe that you not only have a soul, but that your soul is the boss which is a soul secret, your soul is the boss, and your soul can steer your life if you allow it. If you do not allow it, you know what your soul does? It blocks you. This is another soul secret. Your soul will block you if you do not uh, follow what it knows is highest and best for you. Your soul will block you if you do not know what is highest and best for you. If you follow your monkey mind and your monkey mind says, go do this, and your soul says, no, don't do that. And you hear it because you all have intuition, but you do your monkey mind anyway, your soul will create problems for you. It will stop you. And you'll be like, why isn't this working? I don't know why. I've got this and this and that degree and I've got blah, 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 and I've done this and this and that right and it's not working. Arr! You yell at God. Okay. You're not following your soul.
you have a soul I have a soul everyone has a soul and my soul your soul everyone's soul carries messages of all lifetimes many of you have been coming to this live stream for one two years now this is what's called a group soul family so some of you know each other some of you refer to each other you have a group soul with your personal family your mother your father your children your brother your sister this is your personal family those that you have married or been boyfriend girlfriend with this is part of your close-knit soul family they bring to the table their ego monkey mind just like you bring that same thing to the table unless you rise above it they bring it to the table as well so how can you have better relationships in 2019 rise above your monkey mind responses rise above the patterns start looking at things from above oh I love my dad we get along so well but my mother is always putting me down my mother is always saying negative things to me no matter what I do it's never right this is just an example maybe it's in reverse maybe you have a brother or sister like that right we all have somebody in our life that loves to put us down right so this is the this is the uh, the collective uh, uh, of the soul family how do we have a better relationship in 2019 when it comes to a relationship whether it's your spouse it doesn't have to be somebody putting you down it could just be poor communication right then we recognize that they have a soul also okay so one of the soul secrets once you grasp that you can deal with things at the level of soul which is hugely important we can deal with everything in our life at the level of soul one of the biggest soul secrets write this down the biggest mistake that anyone can make in their life is to deal with things at the level of the physical without dealing with them at the level of soul first big mistake well I've never heard of dealing with things at the level of soul first what does that mean master Paul thank you master Shah I bow my head to you my beloved spiritual father you brought such huge wisdom to us about soul communication dealing with things at the level of soul first so think about it you have spouses brothers sisters children's parents there's someone in this group that you don't get along with in the past and you might want to get along with them much better in the future so you have a choice how do you do this well if you follow the same patterns you've done you react Rawr! or you blame or you go hide in the corner and say hmm, I'm not gonna listen to them anymore or you go complain to your best friend they did this and this and this again and again and again that's an old pattern these kinds of responses are not gonna serve you to have a happy 2019 in relationships these are ego mind based lower world responses we are souls on a soul journey towards enlightenment how are you gonna get there if you don't start practicing our soul knows the answer our soul wants what is best for us so the person that's driving you crazy do you think their soul wants for you two to go like this at each other hide in the corner argue gossip about each other do you think that that's what their soul wants no of course not their soul wants their uh, personality to wake up also their soul wants their personality to stop whining complaining blaming blah 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 both of your souls are equally aware the soul of your co-worker you know the, the one that's always complaining about you or the one that's always putting you down or the one that's always driving you crazy or maybe it's a boss or something like that they have a soul too their soul is not happy that the ego of that boss or co-worker is operating in an ego state their soul is not happy about that your soul is is, is not happy that, that you're getting caught up in that ego response so you have to rise above this ego based world and realize that your soul is the boss to not allow the monkey mind to control you you do that by dealing with things at the level of soul first this is the soul secret how it's called soul communication everyone has a soul you know that it's not like it's even enlightening information but you really haven't figured it 
this out. Uh, maybe most of you, I shouldn't say you, uh, most of you probably haven't figured out that it's true and it's real. And if you communicate at the level of soul first, what does that mean? Communicate at the level of soul. That means not opening your mouth and going back and forth with each other again and again and again. They're saying gossiping things about you. You say gossiping things about them. Or it's a mother-father thing and she's always putting you down. The mom is. And you're always going, oh, poor me. Mom doesn't love me. Blah, blah, blah. She loves my other sister better. Blah, blah, blah. So this is the mind to mind. This is the lower than soul communication. Stop it. These are old patterns that no longer are working. Why would you do something that is not working? How, how practiced are you at this? If you're 30 years old, you've been practicing for 30 years. How has it worked for you so far? Those who have the loudest voice sometimes win, but it still doesn't work all that well. You still got the same problem. So deal with things at the level of soul first. Soul communication. Very simple. Since all of humanity has a soul, and we know that the souls are not happy with the ego's responses, the mind-based responses. The souls would like to clear up this negativity. Just deal with it there. A soul communication is just like a human-to-human -human communication. You simply ask the soul of that person to come. You could be in your bedroom so people don't think you're crazy talking to yourself. And you say, dear the soul of this coworker, or my boss, or my husband, or my mother, or whoever it is, please come. Next, you apply the next soul secret. <clears throat> Why do you and this mother, boss, friend, lover have problems? Why? You have negative energy with each other. You have said unpleasant things to them. They have said unpleasant things to you, not just in this life. There's a reason why mom's always putting you down. There's a reason why dad's never happy with you. There's a reason why the spouse is abusive. There's a reason underneath, and it's um, recorded at the level of soul. It's recorded at the level of their soul. It's recorded at the level of your soul. So when you call the other soul, the second soul secret is called forgiveness. Many of you have heard this a million times before. Maybe you'll go a little deeper this time. Maybe it's your first time hearing it. Why do we do forgiveness? How do we do it with the greatest result? We recognize, first of all, that if I have a parent that's abusive or verbally abusive or a spouse that's physically abusive or a coworker or a boss that's disrespectful and abusive or whatever the case may be, relationships, right? When you have somebody in a relationship with you at this third dimensional ego level, you have to go above it and deal with it at the level of soul. Dear the soul of this person, da, 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 please come. Their soul comes, not the ego, not the personality of that unpleasant person. The soul comes. The soul is love, light. It's very happy that you invited it. Your soul is sitting right above your head, right? And those souls are conversing, but you rise above your ego personality and you speak to the air, unless your third eye is open, you'll see the soul there. You speak to the air and you say, please forgive me. We have had very unpleasant communication in this life. I have been on the receiving end of very unpleasant communication and I have been blaming you and blah, 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 blah. You explain what's been happening. And you say, I recognize that our problem is at the level of soul that if you are being this way towards me, that it is a 50% possibility that in some previous time I have been this way towards you or towards others. Let's say it's a boss that never gives you any praise, always puts you down and won't lift you up in the job, right? Won't let you rise higher. To the soul of my boss, please forgive me for any time that I can't remember a previous lifetime when I have pushed you down, talked down to you, or any soul, any soul. If I have ever been in a boss position and I have pushed them down, not let them elevate in their job, not given them raises, said negative things about them, you have to do forgiveness from this soul consciousness because I promise you there's a reason why you have that particular specific kind of relationship suffering. It doesn't matter. I want you to clearly get this. 
I give people this example, and then I'll see somebody text and they'll say, well, yeah, but what do I do about my relationship with my husband who's abusive to me? Use your head. This exact wisdom applies to the husband that's abusive. You ask forgiveness for being an abusive husband or wife in previous time. Well, yeah, but what do I do about the person that... Use your head. Whatever has been done to you, that's what you ask forgiveness for. So this is a very high soul wisdom. Do you want a happier 2019? Yes or no? In order to have the kind of life you would like to lead, you must, must, must stop repeating old patterns of responding from your monkey mind and your emotional ego. You cannot expect to have a positive future if you do the same things you've always done. You must go above it. So by doing a soul communication and offering forgiveness, you are halfway there. What's the other half? They're asking for forgiveness. So you have to ask and offer forgiveness. Yeah, but they've been pushing me down. Yeah, but they've been saying negative things to me my whole life. Yeah, but they're abusive. How can I possibly ever forgive them? You have to. Who's behind the bars rattling the cage? Look at the look who's behind. It looks like a, a cage, right? Imagine you're on the other side of it, rattling it, going, You abused me, you did this to me. You da, 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 da. Do they care? Are they listening to you? They're out there walking around, blah, 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 having a good time, and they could care less that you're rattling your cage. Forgiveness has to have two sides. You may have been the abuser first, and now they are reminding you. You must, must, must forgive if you are to move forward without these kinds of blockages. You <laughs> don't just do it once. You do it until the problem is resolved. And then you do it a little bit more. You do it until the mother who is abusive stops being abusive. You do it until the husband who is abusive disappears and now you have a normal life. You do it until the problem resolves. You are dealing with it at the level of soul. Their soul, when you invite their soul to come and you say, I love you, I forgive you, please forgive me. You do this at a very you know, connected level. I love you, I forgive you, please forgive me. Their soul is ecstatic. Their soul is beyond joyful. Their soul is now releasing spiritual debt. When you two do this forgiveness practice together, your spiritual debt is releasing, your karma is releasing, their spiritual debt is releasing. You do it a couple of times, three, four, five times, two, three, four, five weeks in a row. All of a sudden, one day, your boss is the nicest guy ever. All of a sudden, one day, uh, the abusive husband says, I'm leaving you. You're like, oh, thank you, God. All of a sudden, the mom that is unpleasant is being pleasant and saying nice things. Why? Because you're dealing with it at the level of soul, not at the level of mouth. That's the second soul secret, okay? What's the first one? Get really, really clear you have a soul. Get really, really clear that your soul is the boss, and if you continue to try to deal with things at the level of mouth, at the level of the physical, you're going to continue to have a, a, a lack of beautiful, smooth, wonderful upward movement you're going to be up down up down up down why because you're responding and reacting you don't want to be in a responsive reaction place it's not supportive it's going to bring you more of what you don't want you want to be in a control position what's a control position be a soul recognize everyone else has a soul communicate at the level of soul do real forgiveness do it often that's how you resolve your relationship blockages what is the next aspect of a soul secret? And by the way, somebody asked about, I'm going to be offering a crown, uh, two crown chakra blessings uh, to a lucky recipient today. And uh, this will be made available for everyone. There's a small honor fee. And these are both related to releasing 2018 blockages, negativities, and uh, setting forth a positive 2019. Uh, so those who stick around, you may be one of the lucky chosen ones to receive this complimentary. And then I'll share with you uh, the small honor fee for those that wish to receive it after the fact. Uh, and I have two people that have a third eye that have joined today, and I've asked them to please stay on this entire live stream so that they can share with you what they see in their third eye when the blessings are offered. So you uh, stick around, and we'll, we'll get to that in a little while. <clears throat> Next, finances and health. Apply the same wisdom. Now, we're going to go a little bit deeper. I have shared Master Shah's wisdom for many, many years now. 
his uh, wisdom is not made up in his mind he is very connected to heaven heaven shared with him master Shah it's not just humans that have a soul relationships have a soul finances have a soul businesses have a soul land and houses have a soul cell phones have a soul everyone and everything has a soul how is that possible the monkey mind says everyone and everything has source creator energy and matter that is an undeniable fact source creator energy and matter literally is infused in your cell phone it is infused in the air that you can't see some air you can see it's so polluted uh, energy and matter source energy and matter is in the dark space and the light space it's in the condensed space we call physical matter and it's in the unseen source creator energy and matter is in everything therefore everything has source creator in it true or false therefore everything has soul soul is the carrier very important message this is a soul secret soul is the carrier of source message so the air which is made up of molecules of energy and matter carries source consciousness source message what is the message of course it's love everything 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 carries source message of love so does that mean my cell phone carries a source message of love yeah yeah it does that's what it means what about the stapler yes it carries a source message of love all the way down to the finest energy and matter well, that's a hard one to grasp I'm not asking you to accept it just kind of work with it because we're dealing with soul secrets how then do you change your finances in 2019 how then do you change your health in 2019 you apply the exact same soul wisdom everything 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 has what a soul does the relationship does your mom have a soul yes does your husband have a soul yes does the stapler have a soul maybe but the energy and matter that makes up the stapler does yes and what's the message within the energy and matter the message is love because source creator is love so then how do we resolve our finances how do we resolve our health we apply the exact same soul wisdom how do we typically resolve our finances work 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 beg 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 for more business well that sounds kind of third dimensional not really an enlightened higher frequency approach certainly not a soul level approach soul secrets is to apply soul does your finances have a soul yes does your business have a soul yes does your job the company you work for have a soul yes what about your bosses all those that decide on how much you get paid yes can money come from other places besides your job where you only get paid seventeen dollars and 23 cents an hour and that's all you're ever gonna make until two years from now when they maybe give you a raise yes money can come from many sources flourishing can come from many sources we have to change our perspective we have to change to recognize that our soul wants us to have great abundance do you think your soul like sitting above your head going Oh, I like it when that when my soul is suffering. Yeah, I want to keep that negative memory. Yeah, that's really going to help me reach enlightenment. You think your soul is thinking that? Yeah, continue to suffer more. That's good. That's going to really help us in the future. No, of course your soul's like, "Hello, wake up. Please wake up. There's so much wisdom I can share with you." Your soul is always connecting with us. Your soul is doing its absolute best. To get you to realize that everything has a soul also and you can communicate with those other souls financial problems there are two sources one is our negative uh, memories our negative uh, thoughts words and actions created upon others maybe not in this lifetime you could be beautiful soul could be a beautiful person always giving your shirt off your back to others I'm not saying you're not a beautiful soul person this lifetime but could be previous times you or your ancestor did very unpleasant things right could have taken over people's businesses could have been owners of banks taking back people's land making people starve you could have been a big leader at times making choices that harmed people financially we don't know all we know is that in this physical world right now we might have financial suffering deal with it at the physical still no results 
deal with it at the level of soul. Dear all souls of humanity. Example, listen. Dear all souls of humanity. Dear all souls in all time, everywhere, in all universe. I'm a good soul. I've done a lot of good things. I help people. I give the shirt off my back. And yet still, I can't seem to put two nickels together. I have come to a realization that I or my ancestors may have made some big mistakes and some times that I'm not remembering. And I sincerely apologize. Forgiveness. You know, it has been said that life is lessons. Are we learning anything? Or are we just going over the same old thing, applying the same old practices? Work hard, work hard, work hard. Money can only come from my job, only come from my job. You know, this is third dimensional processing. Old patterns, you got to get rid of them. Dear all the souls that I and my ancestors have harmed, I love you. From the bottom of my heart, if I have created financial restrictions for you, your loved ones, your ancestors, by, by anything that has, that has been the wrong decisions, wrong thoughts, words, or actions, anything I've ever done, from the depths of the bottom of my heart, please forgive me, please forgive my ancestors. Okay? These, not once, you do it until things improve. And after things improve, you do it more and more and more. Then, because you're already a good person in this life, everything good you're doing creates virtue. It has been taught before. Master Shah teaches us that virtue is heaven's record of your good services, your good thoughts. Did you know a good thought carries just as much coin, just as much weight in heaven as a good word or a good action? You can go help the old lady across the street, or you can sit there and think a positive thought. They both have the same positive result in heaven. Same as a negative thought. A negative thought carries the same negative weight as if you did a negative action. Just a negative thought carries the same weight as a negative action. We are in denial of this. So we must, even if we're positive and good in this life, continue to be so because it creates a virtue in your virtue bank in heaven. Helps offset spiritual debts. How do you improve your finances in 2019? You ask forgiveness at the level of soul. The spiritual debts create our financial blockages. Then the next part is bringing forth the concept of manifesting. We all know this manifesting. You wouldn't be watching today if you didn't understand the concept of manifesting. But manifesting uh, is a two-edged sword. You can manifest positive. You can manifest negative. And most of us manifest by default because we're operating in the unconscious 3D world. We are not applying soul wisdom. We are moving higher in frequency as an entirety of a race here on Mother Earth. Literally, our entire Earth is rotating into a different area of the universe that carries a higher frequency. Literally. And what that's doing is it's speeding up the manifestation process. What does that mean, speeding up the manifestation process? It means that what you think becomes. So when you get the bill, when you get the, uh, the uh, experience that enters your life, if your monkey mind your automatic response mechanism deems that a negative thing and then you vacillate on the negativity of that for days, weeks, months. What do you think you're manifesting a day or a week or a month in front of you? Every time you get something in front of you that triggers the whole uh, patternistic money response, you are going to create more negative patternistic money response. You're going to create a uh, a lot less financial blessings in the future. You could be doing all kinds of positive things, all kinds of forgiveness practice, but if you don't change your monkey mind response, your patternistic negative responses, you're not gonna create a positive uh, financial future. It's not gonna happen. You must be uh, self-responsible for how you react and respond to what comes to you on a moment-to-moment, day-to-day, week-to-week basis. You, you will always have bills come to you always unless you figure out a way to have free energy and free money you will have these things come to you you have to pay for the place to live the light in over your head so we will always have these things come to us we will always have events and challenges enter our world the key is how do we respond to them do we respond negatively do we respond positively when we choose to consciously not instantly operate out of a negative auto response and instead, choose a positive auto response, which I'll give you an example of in a minute. 
What are we doing for our future one week from now, one month from now, our financial future, our health future? We are manifesting a different future. When in that moment that negative event comes or that event that is in the past viewed as negative, when you have a, let's say, a car accident or a health issue or something that makes you not be able to work for a week or whatever it is, right? A bill, doesn't matter. Anything that brings up the whole money fear, the whole uh, financial response, we look at it and we go, okay, it is what it is. Heaven is always taking care of me. In the past, I've always figured out a way to survive, true or false, you're still here, so the answer is true. That's a positive, right? Heaven has always figured out a way to get this taken care of in the past. Heaven will figure out a way to make it happen in the future. I'm just gonna release this to heaven because they've always helped me in the past and there's no reason they wouldn't help me in the future. And you let it go and you start singing love, peace and harmony and go about your next business. You don't give it energy. And the energy you do give it is a positive one. Do you get it? What is that going to do for a week from now? Your footsteps are, are literally stepping into a manifestation of your thoughts from last month. So when you take responsibility for your thoughts last month, like this example positive, then you are literally a week or two weeks or three weeks from now, you'll be stepping onto that positive platform that you started back here. And you're no longer going to be manifesting more negativity. You'll be manifesting more positivity. It is a conscious uh, choice to recognize that so two ways to transform your success moving forward ask forgiveness for all the financial suffering you or your ancestors may have caused to others every day not once not twice and then go well, it didn't work you, you gotta do it every day with the depth of your heart and be conscientious of your negative auto responses change them change them into a positive auto responses and don't give energy and continue focusing on that negative uh, or whatever it is that typically has triggered you in the past just make a positive bubble around it see you know it'll work out don't ignore it you have to if you have to do something to take care of it and of course do that uh, don't just ignore it be responsible but at the same time don't give it negative energy give it positive energy and when it comes up again two three four hours later which is reasonable and possible you go oh it's okay God's already taking care of it you know I just I don't need to give it energy God's already taking care of it and then just chant love peace and harmony or something else okay so these are the soul secrets of what I'm going to share today apply the same wisdom to health I can go on uh, now I'm going to move into the blessings that I've talked about so let me scroll through real fast and see who will be the recipient of today's blessings. Okay, there's quite a few of you that, that are approved, so I gotta check. Okay, so I will share with you what it is and then I will tell you who, who will receive. So I have um, quite a few dedicated students and just a little FYI. Uh, starting June 20, I'll be doing an Open Spiritual Channels course. Uh, it is a two hours, once a week, 12-week course. Two hours once a week where I give you dedicated, focused uh, wisdom and practices, and then you practice during the week, and then I move to the next stage of opening your spiritual channels. Open your third eye, open your soul language, open your communication, talk to heaven, receive messages back. Heart center, chakras, uh, kundalini, all of that in this 12 weeks. Very, very powerful. I've offered it for uh, a year and a half now. Um, five different classes and hundreds of students. And so with those students, I've uh, delivered th uh, this, this one I'm going to release to you today. And if you're interested in that course, 
Uh, you'll learn more about it later in this month. I'll talk about it, but um, go to the link. Kristen Rojas will post the link for people. Um, it's truly a remarkable course. Uh, it's like not something you want to pass up if you want to open your spiritual channels more. <clears throat> um, so what are we going to do? I'm going to deliver to this lucky uh, blessed recipient a crown chakra blessing, two of them, for the new year. The first one will be for um, releasing the negative memories of 2018. Right? So powerful. Because we, we cannot manifest the positive future if we're holding on to negative patterns, negative memories. Releasing the negative memories of 2018. The second one will be a crown chakra blessing for manifesting positive, happy success in 2019. Manifesting positive, happy success in 2019. So um, this is the crown chakra blessings I'm going to deliver to this person whose name I'll reveal in a moment. And everybody watching will have an opportunity to receive this. There will be a small honor fee for it. I'll tell you that in a little bit. Um, I'm going to ask uh, Catherine O'Shea and Joy Weber and anybody else that has a third eye open to um, share their third eye images when I deliver this blessing. And then I'll also do a short flow and then I'll share with you uh, the honor fee for those who would like to receive it. Okay. So the person that heaven chose, because I didn't, I didn't choose heaven chose. There's about actually 11 people that were, I got a yes that could be approved. And I just had to ask Kevin and they said, Rosetta, Rosetta over him. You are the one who will receive this blessing today. So congratulations <clears throat> on that. I see that you just posted, so I know that you are still present in, in this group today. So Rosetta, please sit up straight. I will deliver this. I'm going to, in the, to save time, I'm going to deliver both blessings at the same time. But when you actually call to receive this blessing, I will do them uh, separately. But I can deliver them both at the same time to save time. This would be a two-minute crown chakra blessing um, for Rosetta. <clears throat> You're very welcome, Rosetta. Please sit up straight, feet flat on the floor, uh, back away from the back of the chair, touch your tongue to the roof of your mouth, bring your thoughts in your mind and your breath, Rosetta, into your lower abdomen, prepare to receive. Dao Soul Light Crown Chakra Blessing for Rosetta Overheim as appropriate for releasing negative memories for the year 2018, especially those that would impact positivity in 2019, and a Crown Chakra Blessing at the same time for manifesting positive happy, successful 2019 for Rosetta. Crown Chakra Blessing, start. Yahio, 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 Heya, Heya, Heyo, Heya, Heya, Heyo, Yahia, Heya, Yahio, Heya, Heya, Heyo, Yahia, Heya, Heyo, Heya, Yahia, Heya, Heyo. Hey, ya, hey, hey, ya, hey, ya, he, yo, ya, hey, ya, he, yo. Ya, hey, ya, he, ya, he, yo. Ya, ya, he, yo, ya, hey, ya, he, yo. Ya, ya, hey, ya, hey, ya, he, yo. Ya, hey, ya, ya, he, he, yo. Ya, hey, ya. Hey, ya, yo, ya, hey, ya, yo, ya, hey, hey, la, 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 ya, yo, yo, hey, ya, yo, 
Hey 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 yeah hey 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 好，好，好。Thank you, thank you, thank you, Rosetta. You are beyond blessed. Countless bow downs. Thank you, Divine Bell Source. Thank you, Master Shah. Thank you for giving me the ability to offer this blessing. So Catherine has already done some sharing. And uh, I will go back and read these in a moment. <coughs> I'm going to offer a flow now as to... Um, the Akashic Record, what happened for Rosetta. Because everything that happened is recorded in the Akashic Record. For those that receive this blessing, I will also do a record reading for you. Uh, and you'll learn how in a moment how you can register. <coughs> how? For our beloved daughter, Rosetta. The reason she was chosen to be today's demo is because of her pure heart of service. She is what would be called a silent servant, helping many in her neighborhood, always giving, always supporting, helping in so many ways, even though she has so little to offer. Her mind and perspective have always been, I have enough. God will take care of me and as a result she has always had enough we wish for her to have more moving forward we wish for her abundance to improve and increase to move from enough to more than enough so that she can be a better servant we have given her the blessings as appropriate to open her mind to where she may receive abundance from most of the negative memories released had to do with self-doubt, self-deprecation, um, putting self down for not being worthy enough, and uh, wondering and holding on to um, a kind of a self-loathing for not being more pure, uh, more uh, forgiving, more... Um, not doing enough to have earned a better life, I guess, is a very simple way to state it, although not necessarily fully accurate. Uh, for our beloved Rosetta, the blessings that has been given her to manifest a positive, happy new year will assist her in reacting and responding positively to events, to catching herself when she has a negative patternistic responses from the past and choosing more positive responses this will act like a snowball providing for her a new territory for which she steps onto with each new future day that has in it positive life experiences and events which thereby creates more positivity in her life by this time next year our beloved rosetta would easily have a much more prosperous and happy life she is very blessed this is uh, one of the record keepers akashic records ha, ha, ha. thank you thank you thank you rosetta or heaven congratulations rosetta what a huge blessing okay so for and i'll read the third eye images next so catherine and anybody that had third eye can share their share catherine said uh, I can see Rosetta's soul bowing down in tears. She has had many heaven's birds gathered around her to assist her in removing these negative messages to the light and bringing in the new gifts and the light opportunities and deeper connection to following her heart with more ease and with more joy. I see heaven's golden tiger has come 
to guard and protect her as she receives this blessing to comfort her and restore her belief in herself and in heaven in a much deeper way Catherine goes on to say I see relationships connected to Rosetta stepping forward to be nourished to empower the souls to these relationships to be of higher service to her and humanity uh, Nikki Gobbard said I saw a flower field of dreams holding hands with beautiful souls streams of water and by our side moving within the circle clockwise uh, golden hour all white cloth or none at all children in the middle of the circle giggling and dancing Catherine goes on to say I see flowers and jewels and so much virtue and abundance all around her some of this has been with her but it is through this blessing that it has been revealed and received this is so huge yes thank you Catherine thank you for that third eye reading so as you can see Catherine's reading uh, third eye images uh, meshed well with the um, uh, flow uh, that she already had some abundance in her field but it wasn't able to get to her because of some negative mindsets and uh, and uh, not enough self-love and so these were directly addressed uh, because these are tailor-made crown chakra blessings these are not generic heaven knows exactly what you need heaven knows exactly how to position you for a much better happier healthier uh, new year so um, this is what's called the crown chakra blessing it's extraordinary uh, the blessings I've seen so many uh, beneficial results with this again the first one is a crown chakra blessing to release the negative memories of 2018 especially those associated with manifesting a positive new year and the next one you get two of them the next one is a crown chakra blessing for manifesting keyword positive happy and successful new year so that both of these combine to release blockages and to empower you with the right thoughts processes and mindsets for a positive happy new year uh, it's highly likely that any um, financial uh, remuneration for these services will be returned in a relatively short period of time given the power of these blessings the normal honor fee per crown chakra blessing is 100 each uh, the special for those that respond within the next 10 days is 150 for both okay 150 for both so how how do you um, how do you honor for it Facebook messenger connect with me you can also call and leave a message 808-469-6199 uh, uh, this is in the US I just typed that in so that is now there um, don't abuse the phone number please um, Facebook message text first if you can uh, I don't like receiving calls without getting texts first because I have to schedule my time a very very busy person I will schedule a time to offer these blessings uh, remotely just like this they work very very well and then also um, you can email me whatever it might be uh, if you do have Facebook Messenger if you're not a Facebook friend yet friend and subscribe and uh, we'll accept your friendship quickly and then you can connect with me on messenger that allows for uh, the delivery of blessings anywhere in the world very easily okay so I want to offer my gratitude to heaven divine Tao source all the beings of light who came to offer their service here today uh, I wish to offer my gratitude to each and every one of you and I thank you for your presence thank you for sharing this live stream if you know of anybody who can benefit from these blessings certainly share that with them as well uh, I look forward to serving you moving forward love you love you love you Come back, see me on Thursday, three hours earlier than today, 9 a.m., and I will serve you again. Bye-bye, everybody.